I've always said the river was like my church. Somewhere where I go to reset, decompress, and I always find myself deep into the moment. My name is Jason Vigil, and I'm from Los Angeles, California. I've been fly fishing for almost 15 years now. We're out here in Bozeman, Montana at a fly fishing meetup. About five months ago, I purchased a adventure van, a Storyteller Overland Classic Mode, and instantly joined the community. And ever since then, there's been all these great meetups. So typically when I get to the water, before I even gear up, I'll bring my rod down, obviously, and um, my fly line, all that good stuff. But before I actually tie a fly onto my line, I like to walk in the water, pick up a boulder, pick up a rock, flip it upside down, and really see what kind of bugs are on there. It'll give you a great idea of what type of bugs are in that river system. And then you can open up your fly box and match that. Where we're at fishing right now, there's a lot of current, not too much, but there's a lot of current and there's a lot of boulders at the bottom of the river, which give fish a little bit of break from all that water pressure. One of the reasons that fish are in this area is because the water is cooler from the flow and they're getting more oxygen. So I'm not seeing anything come up. There's no bugs on top of the water right now. So that tells me that the fish are in the bottom, the bottom of the river, kind of getting protection behind these rocks. So what we're going to use today is a streamer, something a little bit heavier. We're going to try to emulate um, like a minnow going through the water. So right now there's a hoot owl in effect. And what that means is um, during their drought years, the water gets really warm on these rivers. And so they put the hoot owl in effect. And that's, uh, that means you can fish basically from sun up to about 2 p.m. in the afternoon. And that's it. You got to get off the river. Otherwise the water gets too warm and it's hard for them to recover after you release them. Oh God, holy smokes. That's a nice brown trout. Wow. Woo, that wore me out. all about. Look at that. Keep them in the water and they'll swim right away. This trip in um, Bozeman, Montana was put together by my friend Young Wa. Uh, she's another storyteller owner and she was kind enough to put a fly fishing event for uh, to introduce fly fishing to a lot of storyteller um, owners and um, for you know people like myself that have been doing it in a while to get a big group together and to come out here and fish together, build the community, help people s learn how to fly fish, see what we see in this sport, and uh, just get together and just get another excuse to be in our vans, to go somewhere beautiful and to build relationships throughout the community. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. It's not about catching fish. It's about building relationships that we can cherish for the rest of our lives.